I'm sorry. Uh, I lost. Uh, I lost connection. I lost connection um, uh, because uh, I was using. I was using. Uh, let me let me try to. I, I really want us to um, I want you to to see I mean just to just to finish what uh, um, I'll, I'll take it back a little bit speaker to an extent where mr. speakers we speak today the government through the Ministry of Information is amending the law, the IPA Act, to gag people from even speaking, communicating through social platforms. It's fact. Constitutionalism, Mr. Speaker, two principles of constitutionalism. Number one, separation of power. Separation of power refers to the independence and autonomy of the three arms of government as well as governance institutions. They are critical governance institutions like the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Every citizen has a right to be appointed. But citizens that are politically connected cannot be and should never be appointed to institutions like the Electoral Commission of Zambia because it compromises the integrity of the elections in that institution. It is on record, Mr. Speaker, and an outcry recorded that individuals that are politically connected were appointed to, to lead the Electoral Commission of Zambia. The results have been very glaring bad. To an extent, Mr. Speaker, that the, Consti the, the, the Constitutional Court, in one instance, rules saying this person and that person is eligible to contest an election. The case of Honorable John Malangi and Bowman, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, because of being aided by cadres, goes and overrules the Constitution. Oh, honor, honorable member, honorable member, mm. I've guided you. Imagine. I've guided you. Mm -hmm. I've guided you. You know, what you are supposed to concentrate on is the presidential speech. Then making these... Uh, these are sessions that you are trying to do to gain political mileage. Imagine, not, uh, imagine necessary. the speaker saying that. It's not necessary to do that. You are alleging that relatives have been the appointed. Relatives. He never even mentioned Order. relatives. It's not necessary. Are you able to substantiate that they are relatives? He has not even mentioned relatives. So concentrate on, uh, on, on, on your on presidential speech. If you continue, I will tell you. Imagine I won't that. allow you to proceed. Imagine when I was that. in secondary school in grade 11, I was the debate president of Kawamba Boys. The rules of debate are such that you infer happenings so that you can build a line of thought. Mr. Speaker, when we talk about the autonomy and independence of the three arms of government, one of the arms of government is the legislature. This August House here is expected to be independent and autonomous. Because any interference in here, subject, honorable member, listen. <laughs> you know, you are not allowed. You know, Imagine. you have to debate. No. Or you want me to debate. Listen, or may you take your seat? Take your seat. <laughs> the rules don't even allow to debate ourselves. <laughs> Imagine. You should make. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, that is more you. <laughs> that is more you. you can imagine that's a speaker yeah that's a speaker he interjected the guy the guy couldn't debate i mean i think you need to watch this again just just listen just look at this guy look at this guy 
hmm? so that you can build a line of thought. Mr. Speaker, when we talk about the autonomy and independence of the three arms of government, one of the arms of government is the legislature. This August House here is expected to be independent and autonomous because any interference in here Honorable Subject. member, you, don't, you are not allowed. You, you, know, you want they, to debate or no. you want me to debate? Listen, or, may you take your seat? Take your seat. The rules don't even allow to debate ourselves. You should make... <laughs> I'm telling you, our... I, I, Ever since I was born, I'm almost 50 years old. So I'm just uh, uh, 10 years uh, short of uh, being uh, uh, being an independent, being uh, part of the independent. But I've never seen, ever since I've been following political activities, especially parliament, I have never seen our parliament you know going so long imagine look at that look at look at what we have as a, a speaker look at what we have i mean the guy Proceed, the guy mr speaker let me, not let me, long ago this country was entertained to the happening in the i mean the, the, the guy has water in his head he has he, he can't even debate he can't even follow logic you know i mean when the moment he just sees that the a, a binwell is hammering or is making a point on the on the on the governance of the upnd he comes in he comes in to to curtail the debate i mean binwell and he was actually being very civil there is nothing wrong, there is no rule that he broke as a member of parliament. He was talking about situations as they are. He was talking about situations as they are. He is criticizing the institutions, the institution of ECZ. And it is true, ECZ has been highly compromised. But he's, he's, they said, no, 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 you can't discuss them. You can't discuss them, you have no facts. How? How honestly? So then, what should members of parliament discuss? What should members of parliament, if members of parliament cannot name institutions, cannot uh, criticize institutions, then what's the point of them being there? What's the point of them being there? Eh? I mean, we, we, my brothers and sisters, even if you are a praise singer, even if you are a praise singer. These things are going to affect you. These things are going to affect you. It is like that, uh, uh, um, I don't know if it is a, a, a parable, a modern parable, to say they came for Jews, but I didn't do anything because I'm not a Jew. They came for Republicans, and I didn't do anything because I'm not a Republican. They came for Democrats, I didn't do anything. Finally, they had no one to follow, and they followed me and I had no one to defend me. This is the situation that some of you are going into. Because you think that you are aligned to the UPND, because you think that you are aligned to the government, what will happen is that the rest of us will be sorted out. But at the end of the day, they will sort you out and you will have no one to speak for you because the rest of us who actually speak would have been sorted out. Would have been sorted out. You think it is okay? Yes, now we are talking. Ah, when they are sorting out, oh, dad, yeah, he's even in exile, he's on the run, whatever, whatever, whatever. It is okay. But look, me, I can even afford at least to be out of the country and still live okay. And still live okay. But what about people out there? What about people out there? Some of the people cannot even afford to jump on a bus and go anywhere. They can't afford. So they, they stay there. People like Jackson Chama. Jackson Chama could not even fight 
Jackson Chama was defeated, arrested from Kitwe or from Lusaka and taken to Southern Province. Because Southern Province has become like, uh, like Guantanamo Bay. Eh? Southern Province is Guantanamo Bay of the UPND. Even me, when they wanted to arrest me, they wanted to take me. They wanted to take me to Wengwa. That's where they wanted to take me. They wanted to take me to Southern Province. It is Guantanamo Bay. Those that they think that, okay, these are a, a problem, they want to be arresting them and taking them to the Zambezi region. Just like I was taken to Lukulu. This is what is happening. They want to be arresting people like us and take them to the Zambezi region. It is like a Guantanamo Bay. It is like another country. Because some of you don't even, may not even know that Guantanamo Bay is not actually in America. It's out of America. That is the situation that the UPND are coming up. Now, surely, just look at what is happening. Can you say that our parliament is independent? Can you say that our parliament is independent? And Ma and Moyo wield so much power. He has got so much confidence because he, he, is, like, he is like a dog that has been unleashed to go for these guys. Go for them. You see, when a dog he, he knows that the owner is there and he's saying, come on, go for them, that dog can be very vicious. That is how Moyo is behaving. Moyo is behaving as a vicious dog because he knows that the master is just behind. The master is watching. The more vicious, the more stupid I become, the better for, 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 for me. And we have a number of people like Moyo who think that they are with them? Who think that they are with them? Same, same with this uh, Gilbert Piri. Gilbert Piri thinks that he is with them. And he's being vicious on some of us. But he's nowhere. He's nowhere. He's nowhere. And this is a fact. He's nowhere. They are just being used. He's just being used. Moyo is being used. He's just being used. And he's a fool who cannot realize that, look, what I'm doing here is wrong. These, these guys are killing Zambia. They are messing up our country, these people. It is terrible. And look, another one has been used at Emmanuel Banda. Eh? Emmanuel Banda. He is the one who has put in a complaint against the... Against the uh, uh, um, uh, that Emmanuel Banda did not come up with that complaint on his own. If he even wrote that letter, I doubt. Somebody must have written a letter for him. And they just gave him to sign. That's it. Complaining against a member of parliament who has got immunity, a member of parliament who was checking the president, calling out the president for the lies, for the liar that he is. Calling out the president for the liar that he is. And you have this guy, you know, lodging in a complaint. What complaint? What do you want them to do to Jin, to Jin Chisenga? And Jin Chisenga is a member of parliament who was elected by the people. And she's a good member of parliament for that matter. She's a good member of parliament who is loved by the people that uh, she's saving. My brothers and sisters, Napa Pata, this is not about what, what, no one is going to pay me for what I'm saying. No, no, I'm talking for Zambia. And believe you me, you can be a press singer. What is happening is not right. What you just saw, the act of Moyo, that is not right. Even if you are indoctrinated, you should be able to see wrong things for what they are. That is wrong. A member of parliament must be allowed to debate. A member of parliament must be allowed to call out the president for, for the liar that he is. He must be able to do that. And they should not be punished. Like Gary Combo said that she will not go unpunished. And Gary Combo, mind you, is part of the executive. And I'm sure they are filing their arrows, you know, to stab, to strike on Jin Chiseng. For what? For telling the president the truth. Who doesn't know in Zambia today? Who doesn't know? 
that waka in the HDMI who doesn't know who doesn't know you call me here I'm going to open phone line I'm going to open phone lines tell me that you don't know that waka in the HDMI is a liar tell me we will give you evidence we will give you evidence of waka in the HDMI being a liar is the worst president that we have ever had a most cheating president politicians lie but haka in the hdm ubulu ele kwa ubu fibwa kwa kwa kulo wekwa bulu ele ubukulu and this is a fact you can help me for it but it is a fact and i can run you through that but all these people are aligning themselves to haka in the hdm let's go to the let's go to the to to the judiciary which is my main my my main uh, 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 my main thing for tonight you see i am i'm very sad about the judiciary because the judiciary at the end of the day they are the custodian or they are the ones that upholds the constitution so we can differ in 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 opinion we can differ as brothers and sisters whatever it is and at the end of the day we go to the courts and the courts are the ones who are supposed to arbitrate unfortunately what has happened especially during this uh, leadership of Bamumba Malila during this leadership of Bamumba Malila Bamumba Malila to start with because the chief justice is supposed to inspire inspire other judges and magistrates that they are supposed to you know uh, uh, to dispense justice the chief justice must must inspire the the, 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 the judges the lawyers he must inspire and i know Bamumba Marila may not like me calling out his name but if i can ask Bamumba Marila he's now a doctor he's even a doctor who does he inspire as a chief justice? Does he think Bamumba Marila is inspiring justice? Does he? Because to start with just himself, just himself, he came and was part of uh, this case Yavena Atan Shansonga. When in the past he he was embroidered in in, in, in a situation that compromised him. And he was part of the judges. And of course, we have some people, Atan Shansonga, uh, Stella, Stella Chivanda, in jail. But really, he was not supposed to be part of that. If he was, if he was a principled man, he would have said, no, this case, I'm somehow linked, I'm somehow contaminated, I cannot be part of this case. But he was part of it. A man or man, went and complained to the judicial complaint commission he went and complained to the judicial complaint commission the judicial complaint commission up to today has not heard the case of mumba Madiga. they haven't heard but if you look at other cases like the case where they removed judge Muma, that case actually came after emmanuel mwamba had put in a complaint but it, a, a judge Muma is out. A number of other judges have been removed by the Judicial Complaint Commission. So now, the question that I'm asking you, my brothers and sisters, Mumba Marila is a judge. He is a judge. And he is also answerable to the Judicial Complaint Commission. That's why the Com Judicial Complaint Commission is there to offer checks and balances. But the Judicial Complaint Commission itself is compromised. Compromised how? The people who are appointed to that Judicial Complaint Commission are friends to President Haka in the HLM. And Mumba Marila is aligned to President Haka in the HLM. And therefore, it is difficult for Mumba Marila to appear before the Judicial Complaint Commission. And whether legitimate or not, the, the 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 case of Emmanuel Mwamba cannot go to, to judicial complaint commission and thereby justice being 
flouted. Justice being compromised. Because he should have also appeared like many others who have gone before the Judicial Complaint Commission and who have seen them being fired because of the recommendation coming from the, from the Judicial Complaint Commission. But this pattern is everywhere whereby when it is somebody from the opposition who is bringing a, a case forward, that case will not be heard. It will not be heard. And we have other examples. Other examples, we have the case where, um, uh, where um, the, the, the IG, Inspector General of Police, was dragged to court by the Fred men. And, and Gilbert Perry could not give the consent to have uh, uh, the, the, the IG uh, prosecuted. Instead, he entered a nolle to, 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 to free. He discharged. No, he didn't even enter a nolle because they were the, whatever. He just refused. He just refused. And he said, the, the, this uh, uh, inspector general free. Because what the inspector general did surely should have gone into court. But he said, there are cadres, there are people who are whatever. And my friend member said, no, this is not right. Let's, let, he, let him be prosecuted. Uh, Gilbert Piri refused. We have another case. Another case is the case of um, uh, the Secretary General of the UPND, where he called the Archbishop of Lusaka, uh, he called the Archbishop of Lusaka a Lucifer. If it was me who did that, if it was me who did that, I would have been, I would have, I would have, I would have gone to, to jail for it. I would have gone to jail for it. I would have gone to jail for it, but because it is the Secretary General of the UPND, no, for them they are above the law. They are above the law. You see, you see, this is the bias that I'm talking about. We also have other cases. We have the issue of uh, Muetwa, where he spoke about we hired Kambuiri to. Uh, you know, to 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 pay the tribal remarks or tribalism, and Kambuidi was sentenced by by the courts. So, if Kambuidi uh, was was convicted by a court for issuing tribal remarks, what about the person that he, that sent him? Because it, according to the courts, what Kambuidi did is a crime. So if it is a crime, if the person that, that acted on that crime, that executed a crime, what about the, the masterminders? Because if I am going to commit a crime and a masterminder comes behind to say, it's me who sent him. I mean, that person also must be prosecuted. But nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. So you see this bias then when you talk about those of us who are in the opposition when you are before the court when you go before the court i mean it's a the, you are already convicted you are already convicted it's very difficult for somebody in the opposition to uh, to be acquitted it's very difficult because most of the magistrates and judges are under pressure they are under pressure. They have to please the president. They have to, to please the power that be. It's a challenge. And, you, I mean, honestly, then you want me to say, no, no, to be courageous. What? There is no courage. There is no courage. I mean, it is actually foolishness to, rain, to bring yourself before, you know, a court that you know that will not dispense justice. 
We want justice. We, I am very much ready to face any, any magistrate, any judge. If I'm going to be judged, you know, accordingly. Not where, you know, the sentence or the, 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 the outcome is already predetermined. And this is a problem that we have. We have our judicial system, Bamumba Madila. Our judicial system, cases are predetermined. Are predetermined. It's like you are sitting, you know, you are sitting, oh, no, we are going to do this, we are going to do this. Before you even bring to the you you have already discussed what charge you are going to give him and how you are going to, 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 to judge him. This is very unfortunate. Look at look at the cases that are in before our courts. Look at the cases today. Campion goes in court. Eh? And I mean the, the poor woman is now testifying to say the house is a family house I was given by my mother. But just because she's married to Campiongo, she's in court today. There are a number of cases that really you can see from afar to say, here there is no justice. And this is what we are complaining. This is my complaint tonight. Look at the case of Mao Samba. Eh? Mao Samba, I mean, we all know, even if you are a praise singer, even if you are whatever, we all know that what Mao Samba did at Mulungushi was illegal. We all know it is illegal. There is no two way about it. But Mao Sampa was helped by the Zambezi force, was helped by the UPND. Remember they sent the police to go and look up the secretariat. The police were manning the secretariat at Mulungushi. When Mao Sampa was going on with that useless convention, we all know. But if such, a, such things are happening in our country, and at the end of the day, they even get legitimacy from the courts. Because what has given Mao Sampa legitimacy? It's the court. And the president also come up and recognize Mao Sampa in a gathering to say, the president of the opposition. Really? My brothers and sisters, honestly, are you going to agree that our country is going to should be laid like this? Bamumba Marila, are you really going to bed tonight and feeling to say yes i'm a chief justice i'm i'm superintending on a judicial system that is dispensing justice to the people where is your conscience where is your pride as you drive in that mercedes benz with security where is your pride where is your pride where is your pride when you ride in that mercedes benz with security, where is your pride? When these things are happening, when you are only saving a, a group of, a handful group of people, that's all. And the majority Zambians are crying. Where is your pride, Wamumba Manila, when you look at that man, Jackson Chama? You are a lawyer and I know you are a good one. I know you are a good one. Look at the facts in the matter of a Jackson Chama, Napapat, I am calling upon you, Vamumba Marila, look at the facts in the case of Jackson Chama. And as you look at that, read the judgment that came from, from Kenya, where the judicial system is still independent. Listen, look at the, that judgment, read that judgment, Vamumba Marila. Look that look at that judgment. It is a landslide judgment. It is a judgment that is, you know, defining jury jurisprudence. That is contributing something to jurisprudence. Whereby even the lawyers that are coming out of there, if you say they are state councils, yes, they are state councils. Not these state councils that you are picking from the streets and making them state councils. Surely, Mumba Marida, me, read that judgment. Read that judgment, Mumba Marida, 
And look at the facts in the case of Jackson Chan. Look at the facts in the case of Emmanuel Mwamba. Emmanuel Mwamba simply said, come on, things are bad. We need to protest. And these things used to happen even in the colonial time. Lawrence Katirungu is famous for calling for a national strike. And today, these are people that we learn in, in, in school. And Emmanuel Mwamba did that. And you say, no, no, no. He has committed a crime. He says, okay, can we take the matter to the constitutional court so that they can look at the, my rights to express myself? And the magistrate says, no, because he's under pressure. What is wrong in a, 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 an accused taking the matter to the constitutional court? Why should the magistrate refuse? Why? Why did the magistrate refuse to take the matter of Emmanuel Mamba to the constitutional court? Which is exactly the same thing that uh, Mr. Oika of Kenya did. Mr. Oika, he said actually something bigger than what Emmanuel Mwamba said. He said, I'm not a prophet, but by Wednesday to Friday, the soldiers will take over. Will take over. That's what he said. The soldiers will take over. By Wednesday to Friday, the soldiers will take over the country. Emmanuel Mwamba didn't say that. Emmanuel Mwamba simply said, things are bad. Let us protest as a country. And that is part of democracy. Surely, va, 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 va mumba marila. are those cases that should, go to, should, be, should be going to court? Va Gilbert Piri, apomudi imwe. Surely, can you call yourself a, a, a lawyer with his sword to be a DPP when you have such matters before court? Because those cases are BID, brought in dead. And we have a number of cases that are not supposed to even see the inside of the court. But you, Gilbert Piri, I mean, I don't believe you are Dao. You, I don't believe you are Dao. I know you. But because you want to impress Haka in the Ichirema, we are in an autocracy where one man is leading, one man is doing everything. You can't challenge some of these cases. And I can, tell, I can mention a number of them one of the cases is the case of Chris Jumanizimba. That case, I mean, I spoke about it. It's a case that from afar you could see that it doesn't need to go to court. The case of Emmanuel Mwamba, you, you, it doesn't need to go to court. You don't even have to waste time on it. I mean, the guy just said, come on, let us protest. I mean, what is wrong in that? What is wrong in that? And you know, and you are even saying it's criminal. And uh, this is what that judgment is talking about. To say it's too vague. And where is the, 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 the actus reus? He says, you know, they are saying, you know, a criminal matter must be very, very defined. It should not be ambiguous. There must be an actus reus and the, a, 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 and the mens reus. And... The cases that you have, they are not beating. I'm not a lawyer and I haven't done law. But some of these cases that you are bringing, they are failing the test of being a, being a criminal case before you even start discussing them. He says, let's have a, 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 a national sh shutdown. Let us protest. I mean, how are you going to prove to the court in terms of acts, re, uh, uh, actors reas and men's reas as a criminal, criminal, criminal matter? How? What did he mean? What did he mean when he said let's shut down? What did he mean? Shut down how? This is all vague. Shut down how? How is he going to switch on a, 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 a is he going to pull a plug? What did he mean? It's vague. And this is what the, 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 that judgment is talking about. That criminal matter should not be vague. Criminal matter should not be ambiguous. And our freedoms, freedom must not be limited. Must not, of course, there are limits. 
it is argued again in that judgment to say, yes, a freedom of expression is not absolute, but it should not be curtailed by some laws, by some archaic laws. It should not be curtailed by some archaic laws. And clearly, the case of Iman Mumba is a big embarrassment. It's a big embarrassment. And yes, I'm saying it's a big embarrassment because, okay, you can say, no, we are not the ones that bring cases to court. It is Gilbert Piri. But surely, Imamweko Komulalanda, you connive on how to jail us, on how to treat us, you connive. Why can't you also talk on progressive matters? Why can't you talk to say, Gilbert Piri, this is nonsense, it's, this is, uh, it's, it's not supposed to be. Why don't you advise Gilbert Piri? You only sit to connive, to fix us. But you don't sit to discuss progressively. Another case, which is similar to uh, Mr. Oika's uh, case, is the one for Munia Zulu. You know, I also actually thought to say Munia Zulu went over the bar, but reading that judgment, I realized the guy was just exercising his freedom of expression. He says the uh, president is going to dissolve parliament. Now, I mean, what power does he have? What, what he may have the intention, but what acts, what actors does he have? Just by saying, what? It falls beneath the test of a criminal matter. It falls beneath the, the test of a criminal matter. A very basic one. A very basic one. Not here, I'm not details. A very basic one. Acts reas, men's reas. It falls straight. And why do we have it there? Why do we have Munia Zulu being prosecuted? For what? Gilbert Piri. My brother, you can do better. You can do better. And yes, you are saying, no, 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 you don't connive. You connive. We know because we have got inside information. And you know, have got information. I have information. I have information and I have information not because I'm powerful, because what I talk about is the truth and God protects me. You have wanted me, you have wanted to fix me not only by UPND, even the PF wanted to fix me. The PF wanted to fix me. They even connived with my surety to say, no, 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 no. I sought to withdraw because they wanted to take me to prison. What happened? But the PF went out. Edgar Lung was voted out. I remained. Naimwebe ne chimochini. Naimwebe ne chimochini. Ine mbombanale sandamieva, I tell you, me I work with God. That's why I'm still here. With all your machinery, with all your whatever, whatever, your intelligence, I'm still here. I'm still here. And if you are playing, you will go. You will go and you will suffer for the pain and anguish that you are causing to me and my family. You will suffer for it. Not with me. Me, I, I don't do vengeance. But God himself will find a way of fixing you. Gilbert Peer, Gilbert Peer, you remember me. You are the culprit that I'm even out here. You, Gilbert Peer. Of course, you are being used by Haka in the HDM. And that's for sure. You are working under Haka in the HDM. But Haka in the HDM, you can help him. You can help him to be a good leader. But you are messing it up for him. Bamumba Madila. You are not helping Haka in the Ichirima. You are messing him up. You are messing him up. Vaneli Muti. Ichichi Moyo. We chipuba we Moyo. Moyo li chipuba. Chimoyo li chipuba. Chikuri 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 chipuba. Uvupuwa we nu. You are not helping Haka in the Ichirima. You are messing him up. You are messing him up. You are digging a grave for Haka in the Ichirima. No uvupuwa we nu. No uvupuwa we nu. You are messing that man up. You could help him. You could help him at least. You could absorb at least if you want to But Haka Indeichilema will go down as the most useless president that we have ever had. 
He's the most useless president. What good has he done? Tomorrow I'll be talking about this issue of Mopad. I'll be talking about the issue of Mopad. I wanted to restrain myself not to talk about Mopani, but I mean, I, I need to. I need to talk about it. I will talk about Mopani tomorrow. I will talk about Mopani tomorrow. But you are messing up our country, Mwewantui Mwe. You are messing up our country. You cannot all be subservient to this man. You cannot all be doing cow tongue to this man. Help him. Challenge him. There are other church leaders. There is that church leader that I that I know. We 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 we, we used to talk here and there. Please help him. Not to call him in the HDM. Tell him. Tell him. Yes, I know the man is ruth, ruthless, but unless you challenge him, he will never be a good leader, and he will just go down as a useless president. Bamumba Marida. Look at that judgment. Look at what other jurisdictions are doing. Compare it to what you are doing. Compare it to the circus that is currently going on in our courts. And for goodness sake, I am not saying all judges are bad. No. Me, I know they are good judges. They are good judges. We have a number of good judges. But once ever Tina, because the chief justice himself is the one that is, you know, has become a chola boy of the president. So, what do you expect of the judges? The chief justice has become a, a cadre for the president. When the president says this, he, he also repeats it. When the president says this, he repeats it. Come on, eh? the chief justice who fraternizes with the president like that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Check other countries. Check other countries. No man who are Mumba Marira, but President Navakuna and Kana Kuku Eastern Province, Namukonka. You are also a Kada. What were you doing in Southern, in, in Eastern Province? Mokonkerenge? Because the President is there and I know you have to go there. Hmm? A, a, a Chief Justice, Afira Kotakoka distance, na President. Hmm? Ati. Chani, a, 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 a office of the um, public protector. Aba when so when so full full full, when so full full the office of the uh, uh, um, public protector. Eh? People come up. You have the evidence that uh, there is paging in our country against people from a certain region, and you know it. It comes out, it is so evident, but you come up to, to, to give a statement. I'm challenging you, the public protector, I'm challenging you. Release the names of those people who have been uh, put aside by, by, by uh, a PCMD. Release the names, let's see who are those. We have a number of people who are getting salaries, but they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing, they're just sitting at home. Waka pokola, ba na niwa na ni vengi. Nga ni waka pokola wa fulish no fulish. Vengi waka pokola. They are just getting paid, but very kunganda. Why? And who is going to talk about these things? Who is going to correct this situation? Why are you so scared of 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 Haka in the Ichidema? He has become a deus. He has become a god. And he has become a god because you have the chief justice, you know, a, 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 a worshipping him. You have the, the, the speakers worshipping him. You have ECZ preparing itself to rig the elections. ECZ, they are do, not doing anything. They are busy preparing themselves to rig the next election. For Haka in the HLM. They are not doing anything. There is nothing that they are doing there at ECZ. Their job. Those commissioners, those commissioners, they, they have no any other job. Their job, the mandate, one mandate they have is to rig elections for UPND. That is their mandate. Forget about doing transparent elections. Forget. They just want to rig elections for Waka in the HM. And they are perfecting the skills 
as we go along using these by-elections. Each time there is a by-election, it is an opportunity for them to specialize their skill. So where do you and I remain? Where are we? What about the poor people? Where do they remain? And a good example is Jackson, Jackson Chama. Jackson Chama had no lawyer. Jackson Chama was taken to uh, was taken to Guantanamo Bay. He was defeated, such that the day that he stood before court, he was not even given bond. No, the day that he stood court, he was already defeated. He just submitted. He didn't even fight. He just said guilty. Judge me today. Send me to jail. The following day, they read facts, which facts really are devoid of a crime. Devoid of a crime. And today, Jackson is serving 12, year, 12 years sentence. I want you, I want you, you can help me, you may be upset with me, but deep down yourself, please, the way you called for my file, so that you can fix me, can you do justice? Call for that file so that you can look at the case of that young man. Look at the case of that young man. He said guilty, but really, is that the justice? Did he deserve, does he deserve a 12 years, a 12 month sentence? Our courts, Monday, it's a mess. The case of, of Charity Katanga. The case of Charity Katanga. I mean, at no, since you, you can't tell us where you got the money to buy the first bus, then we, we assume. Now, what, where is the criminal justice there? We are assuming that you stole the money. But in our office where she worked as a public worker, nothing is mentioned. Audits have been done. There is nothing that is being mentioned to say in our office, child Katanga, this money was lost. Nothing. But you, you assume where there is no crime at all, there is no crime at all, but you come and assume that Charit Katanga stole the money. But Bamumba Marila, surely, isn't, and, and these cases, cases whereby you can, you can, you can make things, you can change things. Because the moment I'm there, look at you as a judge, Bamumba Marila. Me, I know where you stay there, Kuna Nikani Kuria, ku, eh, where you have built that house. I know. What is this? What is this place? I know where, but I know that that place. Imagine even you will come and judge, uh, come and pick you up and say, no, no, no. You as a judge, you can't build this house. That big house that you have built, really, can you say that you, you can you really account for every brick on that house? Why can't you change things for the better why can't you do it gilbert piri gilbert piri you and i know each other where we are coming from do you want us to come and start asking you how you manage to to acquire whatever you have and jail you for it why can't we change the country for the better for our future because that case of katanga really sucks it sucks big time. You can't know whatever since we don't know where you got the money. So we are concluding you stop. Honestly, there are many possibilities. There are many ways in which somebody would, would get the money. There are many ways in which somebody can get money. And surely, sometimes you can't just disclose where you are getting the money. Even me, Panondi, eh? suppose you give me something. You want me to come here and say Vamumba Marida has given me whatever, whatever. You may feel pity. You want to help. So, some of these, you, are, you, have got, you have got an opportunity. You are in those offices to make things better. You have got an opportunity to make things better. You have got an opportunity. Our judges are even, have even stopped researching. They have even stopped researching. 
because they are not judging based on the evidence. They are judging what does Aka in the want. You even have a situation where a case that has been concluded, the case of Ed Galum, at no eligibility. I mean, honestly, and it is still in court. It is still in court doing what? It is still in court doing what? Ed Galungu stood in 2021. He stood in 2021. How can he, since the last time that he stood in 2021, uh, be subject of a litigation, whether he, he, he qualifies to stand or not? Pamumba Marila, really, look at this. Mao Samba stumbled in South Africa because in South Africa they don't take nonsense. In South Africa, their courts are independent. He wanted to take Wushiruwa to South Africa. They have thrown it out. They have thrown it out. But you, you are entertaining him. He's even bringing him a contempt. What contempt? What contempt is Mao bringing? What contempt? What contempt? The guy is a fraud. He's a fraud. And he's calling himself a president of a political party. You are a fraud. You even appointed a leader of opposition, a chief whip. I thought uh, that big man, uh, Anton, has got something in that uh, body of his. But unfortunately, he's just a selfish man. There is no principle because certain things, how do you accept an appointment from Mao Samba? How do you accept an appointment from Mao Samba? So these are my issues. Our parliament, I mean, it's bure. Where we're supposed to make laws, our members of parliament are being curtailed. They can't, they can't debate. They are being intimidated. They are being punished. Apostle JJ is saving a sentence, is saving a, a, a suspension. Moving in Zambia, at which point are you going to realize that what is going on is nonsense? Even if you like Haka in the HDMI, even if you are pressing it, surely you can't see that what is happening in Parliament You can't see. Even if you love Haka in the HDMI, including Wamumba Marila, Wamumba Marila, surely. Do you think you, you spoke very well? I remember that speech that you did, you know, defining, you know, how you're going to work. But it's like the moment, you know, you got in there, you met Haka in the HDMI, you threw away all your vision about how you wanted the judiciary to be. You threw it away. And now you're just reading what Haka in the HDMI wants. Inspire the judges. We have got very good judges. We have got very good, you know, um, magistrates. But the intimidation is just too much. The intimidation is just too much. The Judicial Complaint Commission Ex Please, call Mumba Marila, hear the case, let Mumba make his case. Don't just be rushing for those that you perceive to be these are, these are, uh, were appointed by Ed Galungu. It is not nice. There is nothing wrong by the fact that a judge was appointed by Ed Galungu. It doesn't mean that she's not, he's not qualified. If anything, Ed Galungu, Ed Galungu appointed qualified judges than these cadres that you are bringing. The judges that you are bringing, these are the cadres that you have brought. Not those who were appointed. Ed Galung was following. Everything was okay. Even when you talk about the Judicial Complaint Commission, yes, it was also compromised. You know, it was not the best, especially when they hunted out Mutembonchit. I will never forgive them for that because I was very upset with the way they did it. Not because of anything, but I, I don't like injustice. But at least it was not too obvious. In Judicial Complaint Commission, it is just too, too obvious. Too obvious. Too, too obvious. Eh? A firm of one of the Judicial Complaint Commission the, the, of, the, of the chairman of the Judicial Complaint Commission. A firm is handling a case. Look how it is being handled. 
Look how it is being handled. Look how it is being handled that case. Yeah, kwa nani kana udet nyambe. Eh? Yeah, kwa nyambe. Nyambe has paid money. He has paid in pension so kuli wa mirupi. Wa mirupi. He has paid all the money. He has paid according to the indictment. He has paid. But you go and say no. He has to pay interest. What nonsense is that? And you want us to keep quiet. When we talk at go and arrest him. When we talk at go and arrest him. Hmm? You don't want us to talk. You don't want us to talk. But freedom of expression is, is one way that we hold the, those in government accountable. And these things I'm talking about. Nishinaiwepa. Fiachi. Fiachi ne. Vamirupita wakwe tekesi na nyambe. Hasn't nyambe paid for, for, for that case? Hasn't he paid? Which law, which law firm is representing is representing uh, Vamirupi? Which law firm? What have they told the magistrate? Why is the magistrate failing to deliver judgment? And is the same magistrate that is holding my case here and Anankar? Yeah, yeah, mutiny. And you think I'm going to go there just say, oh no, uh, foolish me, eh, judge me. Eh? When I know that this magistrate is under pressure, I know that that judge is, that judge, that magistrate is under pressure. A number of magistrates are under pressure. Even that, that woman that, that, that find me, she's in trouble. She's in trouble. And you are the one who is supposed to protect these magistrates. You are the one who is supposed to protect these magistrates so that they can feel the confidence that we have got a chief justice who can defend us. Now, you are the one who is in the forefront. To ask for my file. Bring the file, bring the file. No, it's very bad. And these things, they will be a fiachime. Fiachime. So you can be upset. You can say, no, let's take him to prison. But fishing can be never. The way you are superintending on the, our institutions of governance, it's, it's pathetic, to say the least. It's pathetic. When you go to parliament, it's pathetic. When you go to judiciary, it's pathetic. When you go to ECZ, stealing votes. Stealing votes. The executive of my ministers, the party name for body. One man, Zambia is being ruled by one man, and everyone has to, you know, follow what this man wants. You say anything against that man, you are in trouble. There is that woman who insulted, and people are saying, no, no, no insults are not supposed to be. Insults sometimes are an expression of the hunger that you have. Because no one is going to insult you if everything is okay. People who insult, it is a, insult is an expression of an emotion that is inside. What is burning inside? So don't just be quick all the time to arrest people. You're bad not to Kana. No. Why has this woman become so upset against that kind of cinema that he is insulting? That's what you should be looking at. That's what you should be looking at. Don't be quick to arrest people because they have said something that you don't like. That is not democracy. Even if somebody says something that you don't like, what is he saying? Why is he saying what he's saying? Gilbert Piri, you are useless. I'm telling you, Gilbert Piri, you are useless as a DPP. Tell me what case that you have really looked at, you know, with the reasoning with the, your education. Tell me, look at, look at your cases. They are all foolish i'm telling you they're all foolish a case here called chris zuma nizimba a case here chris is in that foolishness where you just round up people because one of them is a nephew to ed garungu and uh, uh, you know uh, you give uh, this one chris zuma nizimba used to work whatever whatever you put them together you bring them before court and this is a high court for goodness sake Whereby you need to go through the docket and make sure that things are okay. But look, you embarrassed yourself in the high court. And thank God the, the judge had the courage to throw it away because really there was no any other way she could have done it. There was no any other way.
if there was at least a little bit of something, maybe she would have done it, but really look at it. Eh? Look at Amos, Amos Chand. Amos Chand, hey, hey, yeah, hey, Amos Chand has been jailed. For what? Amos Chand has been jailed for what? For what? For being upset, being harassed? Because when somebody insults, like I'm telling you, it's because he's upset. And it, he said, a fool like this one cannot even identify himself. They were failing to identify themselves. That was just victimization. And these people should be going to jail? Honestly. What is going on in Mumba Madila? I think I've, made, I've, I've pointed to a number of cases, and these cases are there for anyone to see. These cases are there for anyone to see. You can go there and look at them. Go and look at the case of, of, of Kampiongo. Go and look at the case of Mao Sampa. Go and look at the cases, the case of Really, guys, it's not making sense. It's not making sense. And we cannot rule our country like that. And I'm telling you, once more, you may feel okay because it is happening to me. Because it has happened to uh, that judge. Because it has happened to that magistrate. Because it has happened to that police officer. Vayui. Navantuem. Vayui. With your people, with your Zambezi force. You can be okay today. But believe you me, the precedence that you are setting is bad. Because even you, you come and go through what, you, what, what, what your friends are going through. Why can't you do the right thing? What is wrong in allowing those friends of yours that you have put on suspension to be working? What is wrong? Your salary will still be there. You still be there. Why are you putting them aside? PCMD, why have you gummed up? I mean, we are one Zambia, one nation. Why are you discriminating against these people? Please bring them back. Let them start working. Nami Papata, bring them back. Bring them back. Let those people. It is sad. If these things which are happening to my friends, what about if it is me? How will I feel? Bring those people to start working. They are Zambians. Stop intimidating judges and magistrates. Bamumba Madila, protect. Your judges and magistrates, your, your, your judiciary, protect them, including lawyers, protect them because they are officers of the court. ECZ, you are not there to rig elections for Waka in the HDM. You are not. You are not there to rig elections for Waka in the HDM. Do the right thing. Let the people decide who should rule them. Let the people decide who should rule them. Allow members of parliament together with Chimoa, Chimoa, Chacha, Chacha, and allow members of parliament to express themselves, to speak for the people. Leave that Kajin Chisenga. Leave her. Leave her. She has got immunity. And what she said is right. Just leave her. I think let me open phone lines so that... People can call in and express themselves as well on the issues that I've raised or any other issues that you may want to raise. So the number that you are calling on WhatsApp is 0763-302207. The number that you are calling is 0763-302207. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Hello? Hello? Yes, President. Much more bon? Bueno, bueno, buonji. Bueno, bueno, if you're President Tayari. Was my own existing empire, I mean, Tiara Speaker, Ramoyo, Nava, Honorable Nixon Chilango. You just in my own age, Java, Yava Nixon Chang, and I'm nine better chabby, but him. I haven't watched it yet. Ah, the speaker, the moyo. Hmm. When I watch it, when I born on the party, I'm in it. Cause it. So when I born, I'm serving a Mozambian. When I born, serving a UPND. 
mm. interest of our president wa mm. the other thing wa tayari chanizo kuna kufunza sometimes kama pedevela nzero i just wanted to find out ah mm. uh, mopani mopani kopa maini mm. bakamba tiwana kuisa kwa shares 100 ah uh, wala kuisa kwa shares 51% uh, that cost 130 million US dollars. Mm. So, per 130 million dollars, mm. it's a 49, 49% machia ziana sara. Kusonga songa tuafna guli saja, machia 49%, yanga costing a zingati. <laughs> if you look at the percent, which means they, they can cost 120. If the other one is 100 and, uh, 100 and, uh, 130. Uh, 49% uh -huh. should be about 120. So, pari maini, ya mene costing 1 billion, iyo so maini, isa costing 250 million US dollars. Exactly. Njuga buwa nza nisha ika kwa tali. Yonse, yonse maini ya tu ija, mopani yonse ija, kopa hili na hili mo, ma assets ya hili mo, yonse, it is costing uh, just about that, yes. So, she, which means if a Mazambia and Manje Zanka and Alosia 750 million US dollars. Mm. I'll talk about actually that issue tomorrow. I'll talk about it. I want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, I didn't want to, to pack so many things. So, I'll talk about that one tomorrow morning. Tomorrow in my presentation. Tomorrow I'll talk about Mopani. Okay, thank you so much, President Han, because I just wanted to find out that if it can span a chamber loss most of the time. Mm -hmm. No, we'll talk that. about it tomorrow. Hello? Hello, Mr. Tayale. Hi, hi. I'm, I'm always uh, happy to hear uh, female voices. Please, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Tayali. Um, actually, I've been following your program with a, a lot of keen interest. And, you know, as a Zambian, it, it hurts to see certain things happen. And you see press singers, whatever we are called to be press singers, we are really praising everything that goes, uh, uh, whether it's wrong or it's right that are affecting the country. These laws that we are trying to pass, the IBA Act that we want to pass, if say UPND came out of power today, and then the same, uh, uh, the, another party come and do the same thing they want to be doing to the, to, to the citizens, to, they, are they going to be happy? Ask yourself that question. Mm. The people who are in civil service, the people who are, who are in the police service and whatever, mm. let's apply the principles, the codes mm. of ethics for mm. that we are supposed to uphold, the constitution, mm. the ethics for, the, for civil service. We have the ethics of, 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 of civil service. We we have integrity, professionalism, honest, trustworthy. Mm. We are supposed to do those things. If you can't uphold to those issues, resign as a person. Don't do things. Even if, you know, I'm a PF person and I'll come and say, oh, because you can this, this, and they've done the wrong thing, I should just go and clap my hands. No, I'm not going to do that. I have children in that country. Are the children going to benefit? in the near future for the wrong things that are happening in that country. And if I criticize you as as the as the, as the person who's in, in government, don't you come don't come to me and start telling me that you, I should I should I'm going to arrest you. No. Listen to what I have to say. Mm. Do have the freedom of expression, do have the freedom of speech. I have the freedom. I have I'm a human being with with rights. You can't go and you can't as a as as a boss, you go and you, you, you start calling it the people that you employed, Mr. Tayali, as junkies. Imagine those are the children of another person who does that. No, those are human beings. God created them. I mm. think we should learn to respect every human being. If today that IG, today the police that is calling the junkies, they they go and rise. They are going to say, Mr. Tayari said it, they rise and whatever do and this. No, that is wrong. Let's go a spade a spade. I'm a Zambian. I'm not going to sit down and call a spoon a spade. No, I'll call a spade a spade. So that is where we've gone all wrong. Expressing us, let's learn to accept the wrongs that we are seeing and let's learn to uh, 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 say this is wrong this is wrong let's be objective in the way we are doing things if mr tayali mentions things to say these are the things now every time you you bring an issue they'll come and tell you bring evidence 
Imagine. Bring evidence. Mm. You, 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 you cited a number of issues that you, you brought, and then somebody will come and say, bring evidence. <laughs> Some are watching your, 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 your program, and they're saying he, he's, he's mad. So why, is, why are they watching your program if they are not mad? They are also mad. I think the, I may have reached at a point where I, I'm, not, I'm not happy with the way things are going in this country. Mm. You know, the mm. president was shown. He said, I'm going to rule this country on the rule of law. Mm. Okay? So where is that that you promised the Zambians? And if I come and ask the woman in parliament who said, but President Ubufi, mm. she has reasons why she said what she said. Mm. So they are going to say, bring evidence. If we <laughs> mention all these things that has been said, and then you come and tell me because we are pressing her, because we are whatever, go to hell. Move, move out of that country. Thank you. Don't subject, don't subject the Zambians to, to, to the things that are going to impact on the children. We've got children going, the Zambian population, most of these are young people. So why should the president, for me, I have one plea to plead to him, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema kindly rule the country based on the rule of law that you really sought to, to rule the country on. If there's something wrong, you've seen that this issue is wrong, this is the issue. Let him, let him as the president say, I'm not happy with this. this. I want to rule the country so that people will come and say he ruled the country with dignity. Not when, when you see people start talking, it's not because they don't, they don't love you. No, it's because things are wrong. And when they talk, I'm, I'm, I'm entitled to talk. So if you come, the person who will start looking for me because I've, I've called this line to say my, my view, let them call. They are going to open a Pandora box that they'll never see in that country. Thank I'm you. I'm a very disappointed Zambian. Thank you, Mr. Tayag. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Uh, we have noticed that your program is always about HHS every day. You just talk about the failure. Because of he's the president, Kaidi. That's why we're talking about. We can't talk about you. You want us to talk about you. Why weren't you talking about Lung? I was Lung talking was about president. Lung. I was talking about Lung. I was. You but were not you, in Zambia. You, you were not born me. then. Then you were not born. Eh? Because if you were born, you, you were would remember that I was talking about you. You were not. I was talking. You were not talking. You were not talking like this. <laughs> Because no. maybe he was not as bad. I'm talking about Ed Haka in the HMA because he's, he's this bad. Ed Galungu was better off. Maybe that's why I was not talking that much. He was, he, he was better off by breaking other people's bonds. You remember what he was what he did in Rwanda when there was a... If you talk uh, about violence, you PND is more violent. Pacing, what, if you are talking pacing, about violence, you PND is more violent. Me, I'm, I'm a victim of no, UPND let, violence. Let, let, let me go you, you, the problem with you, you are just uh, running away from your own shadow. No, I'm not running from my and own shadow. I'm running away from the ruthless, me... from the ruthless of uh, of UPND. That's where I'm running from. Did they threaten you, or did they say they would do kill you, or what? Uh, they, 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 I mean, if you haven't seen the threat, then you are blind. Then there's something wrong with you. I was taken to Lukulu. Guns came to my house. People must with guns, assorted rifles to my house. What do you think that is? But you are saying you are very courageous. You are ready for everything. I'm not. Now I'm courageous. I'm courageous, but not a fool. I'm I'm courageous, but not a fool. I'm courageous, but not a fool. Let me go to the point where I want to drive. Back. Go. On. Yes. You go are to saying the point. Yes, you are saying HH has failed? Yes, he has. He has failed. Mm -hmm. And badly so. What is fairy? Badly so. What is fairy? What is fairy in your own the way you understand fairy? Okay, fairy. let's uh, let's let, let, let's uh, because I think No no I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me because I have a reason why I'm asking that question. Uh -uh, listen, listen, let's do this. 
Let's help each other. Me, I like this yes. program because this program is for everyone to express themselves. So, from my point of view, me have been making points like you have said that every day I talk about HH. So, meaning you have heard what I talk about, yes. and you, you don't it become boring. yes, yes, and you don't seem to agree with what I say. So now let's put okay. it this way. Let's put it this way. Since me have said how he has failed. I want you to talk about how he has succeeded. Now, mm -hmm. me, I've never seen a person failing before you reach your final point. You cannot fail your grade 7, your grade 12 before you write an exam. Wait a minute, my brother. Okay, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just on that, uh, we, uh, we, we are going to converse nicely, eh? Nicely. So don't think that I'm trying to catch you. But Len, imagine you have a child. You have a child who starts grade one. Grade one, going to grade two, they write, an, they write a test. That child fails badly. And you say, no, it's okay. Let him go to grade two. He goes to grade two again, he fails badly. He reaches grade six, he's failing badly. Are you going to allow that child to reach grade seven when the child has been performing badly from grade one? From grade one, he has been, just been performing badly, badly. Are you going to allow this child to write an exam in grade 7 uh, when he has been performing badly? Would you do, do that? So, I'll answer your question in an honest way. Mm. And I don't think HH has failed the way you are putting it to say he has been failing, 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 failing. There are other things that he has succeeded. Like what? Other things that he has inside. Like what? He has recruited teachers. Which has never been, which has never happened. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Nurses. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He has recruited teachers and nurses. Yes. Are you telling me the previous mm -hmm. governments were not recruiting teachers and nurses? Tell, tell me how many they were recruiting. Because me, I'm a Zambian. I will tell you. I will tell you. Let me finish. Let, let me tell you what I know about what they were doing. Okay. What they were doing. Mm. They have never opened the way it is. They were just making placements. Replacements. There was a job of it. Even the number that you are talking about, the previous where they recruited the teachers, it's not as high as you are putting it. It's very, very minimal. And it was very selective. Okay. So that's what I can tell you. Okay, my brother. We never saw an open advert. Have you ever seen an open advert in a, under PF? My brother. My brother. Listen. Um... The, uh, the pundits of governance, they actually don't consider employment in uh, the civil service as job creation. But That's nonetheless, no, no, the, no, it's not why job creation. It's not job creation, no, no. but then, but, but, no, but then, but listen. Why, why were not they not employing? No, they were employing, except that they, they were not making propaganda about it like the way UPND is making. UPND is making propaganda about something that is obvious. That is, they are supposed to do, so, but they are making propaganda out of it because they are lacking something new. This was happening and oh, those who were what, there, what they obvious? didn't bother to no, talk no, about it because I, I, I it was inevitable. I, I, want to, I want to tell you, mm. there was no employment here. No, we know people where numbers were Let numbers are there. Allowed. Numbers are there. Well, how many? How numbers many? are there. Like I'm telling you, yeah, like I'm telling you, Chitarufia did employ more than twenty five thousand. More than twenty five thousand. It's a lie. It is a, a fact. Lie. It is in parliament. It, it is in it, parliament. It is a lie. Wait. Okay, more than twenty five thousand. How many mm. years? In five years. How many years? In five years. Five years. Mm. And how many of these they employed in five years in two years? In two years, they have employed about fifteen thousand. Yes. Health what? Health workers. Yes. So five years. Mm -hmm. And this is the third 15, year. 000. This is the third year they haven't employed. No, <laughs> it's not the third year. It's a third year. third year. It's a third year. No. <laughs> no. We haven't reached. When it's when were you elected in power? It wasn't in twenty twenty one. 2022 yeah, 20, 20, 2023 2 this is 2024 this is the third year and you are still talking about 15000 
no, we, look, uh, Mr. Mr. President, mm. when you are criticizing this objective, me have seen our uh, lives, your narration, and the way you are doing. Mm. How you are doing things? Mm. You are trying to woo people to have uh, sympathy on you on tribal lines, forgetting about the other things, and they have seen the, all the people are supporting you. Mm. They're just speaking one language. You should, it should worry you if you, only one language which people are speaking. My brother, you have, you, have you, have called, you have called in. You have called in. Why don't those others who speak other languages call in? Me, no, do I, me I don't select. I pick all the calls. And you... I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, listen, what I'm telling you, it should worry you. If other people are not speaking, they are quiet. Why are they not worried. talking? Why? Tell me why. This is what I'm telling you that you should worry. You should worry you. Because now, they are because they are okay. <laughs> I'm sure I would take it that they are okay. So those people those people from the other region who don't call, they are okay. But those who are from the other region, that's why they are calling. <laughs> that's why I, that's what I take it. <laughs> it's a confirmation that this side they are okay. But this side they are not okay. That's what I take it myself. That's how I take it. Hello? I think... Hello? My brother has gone. I, I, sorry, I gave him time because I don't want to look like, you know, I'm siding with one side. You know, so I gave him time to, to talk. Hello? Oh, good evening. Good evening. Um, it's uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to call in. Uh, allow me to say that it was very sad to hearing a brother, the previous caller, that uh, was on. You know, when we talk, I think it's also very important we realize what are we talking about and that we are talking about Zambia. Of late, it has been all about competition, who did what, who did what. I mean, that is why we see that in many sectors now, we get to see the tribal line, you know, ethnic groupings. Mm. That should be a worry. Mm. Because what is not going to leave us is the fact that um, we were born together mm. and that there's no single family in Zambia that does not have somebody from a different province. Yes. Uh, there's no single family in Zambia that only has people from the northern province. We intermarried and their children as well from different provinces. So it's actually laughable and a very regretful situation that we keep on talking, discussing about this, and that it should actually concern us what is going to happen of us mm. of late we get to read how many people are worried about how we are no longer what we used to be when we used to laugh and play go on holidays with our cousins but this time around we don't even recognize who our cousins are and now like that isn't enough we get to experience this thing in our offices where now it's becoming much more evident mr sayali you are married to a foreigner I don't think, I mean, you met your wife abroad. Mm. Uh, sorry to use this example, but what I want to put across is that the first time you met her, you did not ask her which, which country she comes from, right? And that is the same thing in Zambia. When we meet each other, mm. we don't start by asking to say, mm. that is not the first thing we say. Oh, mm. So why has it become so evident that now each time we're trying to make a point across, we always have to look at all oh, these other people we are not considered. That should be pronounced by every well-meaning Zambian that our ethnic groupings should not be the topic of the day. When we meet as friends, we meet, we play, and that's it. That is, that is the way it should be. Continue that way. And all these politicians, especially the politicians and those people with a large following on social media, those are, should be the number one people who should never be using this. And I dearly hope that before we get into the election frenzy, that the government takes initiative to describe what they mean as hate speech and that it shouldn't be selective justice. Mm -hmm. Of late, we have seen things happening where some selective 
have been jailed, have been uh, persecuted, whereas others have been let scot-free. That also is creating much more tension in the country than we can actually see. And it will get worse if these things, you know, they are loud voices, but yet very silent. But those will become very, very loud if we continue going the same path we are. Coming to development, what the current government is doing and what the previous, I liked how you you insisted on the previous scholar to state what he considers success and not success. I mean, why do the current find it relevant to always remind about this recruitment? And I think you had a point when you say it is a mandate for the government and it's not considered as a, a win when they recruit. Those are some of the issues they need to do during that term term of office. So there's nothing so senator, there's nothing so achieved by employing. And yes, they are employing who? In which schools? The schools which were done by the previous government. It's a continuation. And if you look back, what the patriotic front did, the previous government, they built on somebody else's policy. If we look back in the books, we'll get to realize that the schools the Patriotic Front built finally, maybe were started by uh, Levi Patrick Manawas, yeah. maybe by Barupia Band, maybe by Basata, mm. right? And before that, I will say that before the Patriotic Front, I have never heard in Zambia whereby somebody starts saying, Basata ba the clinic, ba Manawasa ba the airport. You know? This is coming now. You know? Why do we see that? The government has to do that. But, you know, <laughs> they have to. They have a mandate. Yeah, that's their <laughs> responsibility. It's yeah. like you want to. You want to be praised for feeding your own children. Eh? Can you imagine? <laughs> Why should someone have you for that? no, I've bought ten trousers for my child. I know it's your child. <laughs> we, as a citizen, we should be able to demand. Let's continue closing the gap in the areas we feel development is lacking. That should be our mandate. How many of these people we see that we've been voting leaders into power, but nothing is happening? Roads are not there. Hospitals are not there. Schools are not there. What sort of schools are there? What sort of, you know, the teachers we are getting there? The medical doctors, are we having even any single medical doctors in some of these rural areas? Why aren't we getting doctors? How are they? Those are things that we should be concerned about. Not no over you, PND, but PF, by the chief, and then we start fighting, fighting, fighting each other. Why? Thank and you, my why sister. Why shouldn't the other people? <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Sally. Sorry for taking up so much time, but I just thought we should, and thank you for giving me at least some extra time. <laughs> we need to talk about these issues. It's very, very important. It's becoming irrelevant when we have to sit and church, is a church, is a who does what and who. D no. Sure. Thank you so much, and you take care. Thank you. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Hello? Hello, good evening. Yes, good evening, Mr. Dad. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, how are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay. Uh, just wanted to contribute. To, I don't know. There are a few things I'm behind about Mopan because currently. I'm um, just a contractor there also, but uh, according to what we have been hearing, mm. uh, there's a certain man mm. who was telling me that he, he has a higher position. He was telling me that uh, why is it that these contractors they have been, uh, they haven't showed us uh, their plan for the next like five years compared to what Grenko is to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, another issue is uh, uh, the, the ZNS media meal uh, which they are, they are selling. It's, it's sad that people have turned it into a business. They are buying those ZNS media meal and start selling it at a higher price. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can hear. Please uh, buy. Mm. Okay, uh, uh, another thing, uh, I'm a little behind about the UCA. What has happened? Uh, have they refused to register the party or I don't know what's happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello? Mm. Hello? Hello? Hello, Hello President. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought that I was going to show you what I was going to do. Red Hotel is very nice. Ah, to quite a shoe cover of Randira Co. But if I ever trundle a cover shade, you know, no comedy, Red Hotel. Red Hotel, ah, now, room I wish you were to car. Of course, better watching a mask or moon to Murad, Kanya, Monkotia, and the Nikoale, and the Mamuva, Mamuasuka, but I feel me as. But I feel me as, but I feel far no, no, but I feel me as. But Totera Sana, he should call his abide. The Sarim Sarim Tangi Ramit was to have to watch Tula. Want to overtake more cover that man repelled by his face. We shall wish to go free and so we take a shield of cash. No more to be a shower prisoner, can't she move the queen? A comedy, which came with him cocoa in a Buzambia and Muran Zabu Zimbabwe and Muran Zabu Queen. Now, Totera Sana, President, I'm going to make a point. Not Totera, not Totera. Of course, I mean, we have to speak about President Aga in the Ishidema. He's a president. Eh? He's a president. So we have to speak about him. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Good evening to you. Yes, yes, sir. I'm getting you. Yes, I can hear you also. This is Patrick. Yes, this is Patrick speaking. Yes, I wanted to contribute something also mm -hmm. over the uh, first of first and foremost. I want to. I, I was disappointed by the previous uh, caller, the guy who was uh, trying to justify the failures of the government uh, about the employment of government. Uh, that's the problem with uh, the UPND government, uh, where they want to glorify the, their little success and uh, overlook what the previous government has done. Most of the time when you try to challenge them, they always try to tell you as a bitter person, instead of uh, try to introspect themselves and find out what are the wrong things that are being pointed out. They always talk about the free education, of which free education has been there. It was just upgraded from the primary to the secondary. Mm. And the, there are some other things that have been done in the past that are even far much better than what this current government is doing, apart from persecuting those people that have different views. That's the biggest problem. Like the way you have been coming out uh, by trying to silence you just because you have a different view. Anyone with a different view is perceived to be an enemy and they will try by all means, by any means necessary to shut them up. And if most people are not talking, not because they are comfortable, but because they are scared. Mm. Even commenting, mm. mostly we have failed to comment on things that we see are going wrong, not because we are comfortable with it, mm. everything. Mm. Me, personally, mm. I was, and I thank God that I was one of the person who was critical to uh, scrutinize the promises that Aka in the Hichirema was making, because I knew that most of them were lies. Mm -hmm. And those people, my some of my friends who were for the idea of voting for UPND, were there to, we, we, we made a bet. I told them that we'll see, you, you come and challenge me if he's really going to make it. He's going to win. Yes, I pray that he wins. But the things that he's promising, I'm telling you, he's not going to. And to the fact they are every time they come and complain to me ah boy things are bad and i ah and things are bad oh ah too bad for you otherwise why can uh, why are you not uh, benefiting ah boy yeah, yeah things are bad 
you know, some are bricklayers, some they do all sort of uh, different activities, yeah, yeah, others into professionals, but the, the challenges they are facing, mm. me, I do business, but I'm far much better because I know and I knew exactly what we are going to face if we get into this government. But if you try to remind the, some of these goody book people, it's like he, they are under spell. They can't see. Every time they want to attribute to whatever little success they have done and try to compare and shut down the success that has been done by the previous government, you see? So those problems, if they continue blinding themselves and depressing themselves over little achievements that has no significance whatsoever, they are just burying themselves. Come 2026, mm -hmm. they will pack and they will be embarrassed because people are... Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Hello, Hello. 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 Ushe ama investor wale isa wati yo mopani shani. Ushe olo zesko fete tish tefe ili hai nefe maini nishua. I think ya ipusho nkwe tefe. Ushe napsa taku wataku vye mpisha kwa ta haka shitafi. Ngozi. Dan tuambo kusenda wambiai. Imagine olo fye. Mfuma businessman mwuru sako mta mwa wako fi fia kwa tako fi mpi wala fi ni 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 fi fi ni fi 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 Hello? 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 Hello. Thank you. Thank you for persevering. I've seen your number because it's an it's an international Hello. line. I've seen how you have persevered mm -hmm. and thank finally you have gone through. Thank you. Please go ahead. I appreciate that. Let me just let me just uh, turn this thing off the other. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Uh -huh. Now I'll turn I'll turn off the other uh, echoing thing over to the other side. Yeah, um, you know, we keep being um, uh, surp not surprised, but we keep being frustrated and almost uh, being, um, uh, being what's the word, uh, seeming like we're being overchained by the government we supported so much mm. uh, to bring in uh, mm. with the hope that um, it was going to, to use their own term uh, to don with a new era, mm. kind of, yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely key. And to be honest with you, I say this all the time, and I keep saying it. I don't know how you do it. You seem to be a resilient person, and that is you have all the hallmarks of uh, being a a real Zambian. You mm. sacrifice so much, and you're carrying on. Uh, for me. I just can't comprehend and I really wish you the best and I hope you can sustain this and you can have the stamina and at some point resources will be mm. and everything. I think we want to be part of your project. Thank you. I'm going to make his uh, people like uh, e judiciary and everything. Mm. Just how have we got to where we've got to? Imagine. You indicated about uh, Mumba Malira is a person that I know personally and I don't want to get, go into names and all mm. the rest of it from his university days and everything. Mm. He's supposed to be a very, very, um, you know, forthright person. Mm. Forget his private life and everything. Forthright person in terms of his legal, legal acumen. Mm. It's over the years it's been kind of undented. Mm. But son, how, son. how he's been compromised how he's been compromised mm. me it just it just make me makes me feel like losing the hope mm. and the will in our own 
very being that we are as the Zambian people mm. because him he was just up there. Yes. Come on. I Remember agree when he with you. stood to stood yeah, he stood against all pressures. Yes. During the 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 uh, his fellow uh, lawyer the, the late um, you know, one of our best presidents, if you were by uh, Liv Patrick Manawasa. Mm. You saw the 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 um Dorothy a Debaco Deb you remember mm. all those? Mm. He's one that I hold in high esteem. Mm. I really wish and I hope I should be in Zambia this summer. I will have a, a discussion, which I, I hope I won't come per pa, pa media and everything. But I'm busy. Back at the same coca cola, 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 back at the If it takes that, if that's where it gets up to, hope, well, I, I'll have no choice. And it's you, we as Zambians, as Zambians, you are Zambian. And it's you know, us Zambians that I'm have sorry, to I'm take sorry, the I'm mantle. Not cutting you. Take the mantle. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I'm okay, not go. cutting mm -hmm. you. I'm mm -hmm. not cutting mm -hmm. you. But you see, mm -hmm. this is actually uh, the biggest issue for me. You see, like you are saying mm -hmm. that you know him personally and you would want to mm -hmm. have an mm -hmm. interaction with him. But look, mm -hmm. you are mm -hmm. thinking to say, what if I have a, a, an interaction with him and tomorrow I'm followed? You know, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be like that. But we should be free. It shouldn't be like that. You should, we should be free mm -hmm. to say, I'm going to talk to him. And when you talk mm -hmm. to a person, confront a person, you, f you, you, mm -hmm. you walk back to your house or wherever you are going mm -hmm. without looking mm -hmm. at your back. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is a problem. Mm -hmm. They are scaring him. us. Even me, I know I'm I know I'm Mbamba But mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm scared to go and face him now. I have no choice but to come and talk here. Because even to access him, you are a friend, you know him. Even mm -hmm. to access him, it's mm -hmm. a big problem. Please go ahead anyway. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. But I think the point I'm making here is that uh, it's people like you with so much passion so much um uh, what is it um so much passion so much um mm, lack of fear mm. i don't know how you do it but i would like to be like you but when the funding if only this you you are you have the stamina to carry on and i'm sure there will be a few people coming along with you in whatever form or sense or whatever you have you're doing you're doing the right thing I'm not encouraging you or discouraging you. Mm. Maybe now we show what you stand by. Mm. And uh, I can see that passion and the heat in you. But I wish most Zambians would be like that. That Zamb the Zambian culture, the Zambian perception, the Zambian perspective has to be changed. If you want to say, it's very kind of a HH, if you want to say, twice, even twice, twice as much. But I'm sure, if you championing a cause, I'm sure he, he quite kind of campaign, he campaign, he calls him a champion. There's very many people that are behind, except that we don't have what you have. But we can only wish you the best, and I'm sure it's an opportune time to get started. If you true, it's true. Because we've had these kind of things before. change. Mm. the right thing at least for once. Which we attempted to do now by church, the village sticker, to attempt to gravitate in the wrong way. Like now, I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the church. Thank you so much. No, thank okay. you. I, I, mm -hmm. I have given you all this time because I saw how much you kept on trying. And uh, thank you very much for coming through. Thank you. Mm. I appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. All the best to you and everyone around you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye. Thank you, man. Yeah. No, and, and you see, this is the point. Uh, this man has made a very big point, which is um, very important for leadership. If you are going to be a leader, listen from people. Listen. Listen to what people are saying. Listen to what people are saying. But you guys, you don't want to listen. Me, I actually even tried to come your way. I tried to come your way. I tried and I had discussions with some of you. And I and just at I mean I cannot come here and start devouring some of these things that was discussed in, in private. But I was trying to make you listen, to make you understand. And because I was trying to make you understand, you couldn't trust me. You couldn't trust me. You just wanted me to agree with you with everything. Uh, Hello? I actually tried to come away. I tried to come away. 
Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, please. Move away from the other from the other phone. Oops. That that can please when you when you call, move away from the other phone that you are listening because we get that uh, that 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 feedback. But this is the biggest problem that we have with you, UPND. They don't want to listen. And when you criticize them, you are not with them. That is Ngadiwa HH, there are a number of people that are, have heard. There are a number of people that have heard. Ku IDC Kuria. Ku IDC. There was a man who did not agree with Vaka in the Hinima on one thing. The next day he was gone. You, you don't challenge Vaka in the Hinima. You don't disagree with Vaka in the Hinima. You are gone. And I've had a number of people that have complained in that regard. Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening, Hello. sir. Hello, how are you, sir? Fine, fine, thank you. Yes, good evening, sir. Tayari. Good evening, please go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Tayari, we have seen what this uh, Moses Moyo is doing. Imagine, eh? I'm calling you from... I'm calling you from Northwestern, yes. Mm -hmm. I, we, are, we are watching him. Days are numbered. He, him, we think, see, they will be there in perpetuity. Mm. We know we know what is happening. Mm. Moyo is being used, and you don't know what is coming for him. Mm. His days are numbered. There's no government which will be there for, 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 for permanent. No, no, no. Time will come. Mm. We account for it. He is not realizing that at one, 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 one time he will remain alone and everyone will run away yes, from him. Absolutely. These people will instead not be of, with him. Instead of making friends with, yes, instead of making friends with those, that, those people, but him is there. Anyway, we will see. Thank you so much. Thank Continue. You. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Moya is something else. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Mr. President. Yes, yes. Please go ahead. It's nice to hear ladies. I'm 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 I'm, I'm encouraged because you know ladies, I mean you hold families, you hold a nation. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. First thing I would like to say thank you for allowing me to talk and the other thing is i would like to say is you are very courageous a very courageous zambian very few of us can do that many of us zambians we just talk in hiding mm. but you are not hiding you have come to talk about what is happening in our country and that is very good yeah yeah, what I wanted to say is about this, the, the recruitment of nurses mm -hmm. and teachers. Mm -hmm. I would say those days during uh, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, mm. or when the Mr. Sata mm. came into power, mm. the schools, okay, mm. the nursing schools, we have very few. You know? The teaching colleges, we have very few. Mm -hmm. And the numbers that we are being enrolled, we are mm. very few. You might intake for nurses was just taking about 35 nurses, maximum, mm. per intake. And at the end, when they finish, they were being recruited without any noise. To make my advice is they should not even say, no, we have, we have achieved, we have achieved. Those nurses during Kaunda, what, it was free. Mm. When payments came into power, they saw that the number of nursing schools that are in the country cannot meet the demand of health care workers mm -hmm. or uh, teachers that are needed in schools. Mm -hmm. What did they do? Mm -hmm. They built schools, they built hospitals, they have mm -hmm. built health hospitals all over the country, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, even in schools, they increased the number of people that were being recruited. Mm. We saw the mushrooming of private nursing schools, not only the government nursing schools, mm. so that they increased the number of nurses in the country. Mm. Mm? When it took over from the previous government, our current president, he found that 
the previous government has trained quite a number of teachers and nurses mm -hmm. and they have also built hospitals mm -hmm. and schools mm -hmm. where you can place them mm -hmm. so it is not that they have achieved mm -hmm. huh? it is not an achievement to me which they said were achieved and we have recruited previous governments were recruiting mm -hmm. they did not make noise mm -hmm. they did not make noise so we want to see the current government to come up with something that they can show the people and the people of Zambia uh, 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 praise them for what they are going to do. Mm. But so far, we are not seeing any plan. Imagine. We are not seeing any plan mm. apart from the issue of good people. Why don't we talk about the Lord shedding? Why don't we talk about <laughs> me, me, you know? All those, yes, those are the things that we need to hear. What is the plan? What is the plan that they have? At it's not their problem, it's climate experience. change. No, during, <laughs> his, uh, during uh, the previous government, he said it was poor leadership. Mm -hmm. It is not the climate change. Mm -hmm. That is what they said. Videos are there. Mm -hmm. Videos are there. We are not like uh, talking from without. Mm -hmm. He said it is not about the levels of water at the Caribbean, but mm -hmm. the poor governance, poor leadership. We are lacking leadership. That was is everyday song. So what is happening now? What kind of leadership do we have? How can they grade themselves? Mm. Hmm? Let those people who are praising them for recruiting teachers know that he, he could not have recruited those teachers and the nurses if they were nowhere to place them. Mm. But he found hospitals. That's why he has recruited them. Mm. Hmm? Thank so, you very much, my sister. President. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have my brother Mkosa. Hello. Mm, good, 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 good. You see? I mean, people are complaining that no, yeah. others, are, they are not calling. I mean, me, I want everyone to call. And I don't even refuse to call. I pro no. I problem is I am going to yeah, I just want to tell you that you are a little bit of 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 a Kanya Malaiti. Mm -hmm. I just want to, I don't know if you talked about it because I have just joined you. Yeah, you can ban, you can I, ban. I, have heard this, I, I have heard some people here uh, back home saying, mm -hmm. no, our president, depending on the opposition, you don't have to blame nature. Mm -hmm. It's poor leadership. We have a long, that's why we had the mm -hmm. I think for me, people of Zambia need to be reminded that in 2015 and 2016, mm -hmm. When we first faced uh, road shedding, that's mm. when we knew how we came to know about it. Mm. After that road shedding, the people of the Republic of China said, "No, let us help our friends. We also have been friends with the people of the Republic of China for many, many years." They said, "Let us help these people so that they so that they don't face this same problem of uh, road shedding going forward." But the mistake the PF made was it to go back and invest into the same system of hydro power generating. And when uh, the, the, the shedding came back in 2020, that's where now it yes, said, no, you people, how do you blame nature? But you had ch a chance to invest into other so, uh, sources of energy. So this time we cannot allow you to blame nature. You just have to blame yourself. That's where I think uh, that statement came from. But today, everybody saying, no, in opposition, as we come back, no, this and uh, we don't have to blame nature. Now, if you have observed Tari, I know even if you are always talking, uh, speaking here about this government, from the time New Dawn government came into power, you have never heard of them talking about investing into a hydro uh, a system of power generating. They are all talking about uh, solar, even when the president went to Asia, the investors that he talked to uh, when it comes to uh, investing into energy, it is about solar. 
even though in the UK where he went and talked to, it was about solar. So, Sir, Mkosha, as a country, let us just yes. Mkosha. Yeah. Uh, do you, don't don't you know that uh, uh, PF <laughs> invested a lot in uh, power plants and uh, they actually contributed to about 300 uh, to about uh, 350 uh, megawatts of electricity from um, from solar. Do you remember but that at one point impact. Edgar Lund, I know. actually the one who started. It's uh, Sata and Ed Galungu was saying these things take time to build a power a, a solar power plant. You need about three years to complete it. So there yes. are a number of them that it, were it, created it, that were that were made yes. by people. You are it, aware it, of it that? It is eh? good, comrade. That uh, yes, I'm very much aware. Listen a bit. Mm. It's, it's it's good that you have acknowledged that it takes a lot of time to. Uh, to build a, uh, a, 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 a solar power plant. plant. Solar power plant. Mm. But has HH if, if, if started any since he, since he came into power? As as if if you allow me to ask you this question, if mm. that money that we invested into northern North Kariba um, was invested into a solar plant, do you think would have um, have this road shedding today? The answer is no. Let us agree as a nation. That uh, I, I, I don't yeah. agree with you because, I, because what you can generate, the power that you can generate from a solar power plant is not that much. That's why the concentration was on the hydro because hydro gives us more. And so I don't think it was a wrong investment to put in hydro. I think what PF did, they put in hydro, but they also started building uh, uh, solar power plants uh, around the country. I think I know about I, I, I think it, 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 it would have helped because I'm sure uh, my light your sevens is a manumba, maybe some sevens is a solar, but for Muma Industries and Mines, Sembewa sevens is a hydro. If it really we invested into uh, so, uh, other, other sources apart from uh, Okay, um, Mukosha. Hydro. Okay, yeah, Mukosha. Yeah. Let's forget about PF. Uh, let's uh, let's ask. Him. Let's talk about HH. What has HH done to mitigate? Because he was talking about mitigation and amelioration. So, what has HH done uh, to ameliorate yeah. on this uh, load shedding? And uh, as you answer that, consider the fact that mm. uh, UPND has insisted on exporting electricity. Yeah, um, you know, everything, everything that we do, um, um, even in Muma Nyumba, if you really were in Muma Nyumba, I mean, I mean, I mean, I program, I mean, 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 I you start with paperwork. And right now, the new Dawn government, if you remember, like I mentioned that you and I end up coming to the investors, I mean, I often know where I could understand it. Those people came here. They did their... Anytime soon, those projects will start. Anytime soon, those projects will start. Okay, Mkosha, then listen. Mkosha, Mkosha, uh, thank uh, you. I like you yes. because you, at least you, you have the courage to come and talk. I wish also other UPND uh, pundits would have the courage like you to come and talk but let me allow other people to come in thank you very much mkosha i, I wanted to talk about mayors comrade just uh, no let me let me allow these people hello okay, good evening good evening how are you doing i'm okay thank you okay i want to talk about tribalism mr tali yes yes uh, I, I belong to Ministry of Education. Okay. I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Uh, Mr. Tali, it's that bad. Is it? I can I can tell you, it's very bad. Uh -huh. You know, from from provincial, the people. Mm. You talk about the dates. Mm. You you talk about a common head teacher. Mm. You talk about a common. Head of department. Mm. 
HODs. Mm. They are all from the Zambezi region. Even so. Now, can you, what do you call that? Mm. If you, we, we cannot say that there was no tribalism in, in the time of ECL. Mm. Maybe it, could, it was there, but the degree mm. in which that tribalism, mm. it was not as it is right now. Mm. Mr. Tari, I have a master's degree. Eh? But my, my HOD mm. is, a, is a diploma holder. What can you say about that? But my brother, let me ask you a question. When did he become HOD? Did he become HOD during this time or he was there before? Or maybe there is the a criteria that they are following? At the school. He found me at the school. Mm. So when we say he, that is not, what, okay, what do you call that? If it mm. were you, what can you call that? He found me at the school. Mm. He came from another school. Mm. He never came with his appointment. Mm. His appointment, he got it from our school here. Mm. I, 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 let me give you that um, um, that assignment. Mm. Find out all the POs that we have. Mm. Find out all the debts that we have. Find out all almost all the, these big schools, the head teachers. Mm. You see that he. What we are talking about, look at the ECO. He had, we had the Bank of Zambia, Gavan. Mm. We had named them in the, in the, in the embassy. There were mm. plenty in the, in the foreign service. Mm. Plenty of them. You know, to, to, to fight tribalism, Mr. Tari, you need to be deliberate. Yes, 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 yes. Okay? True. You like need to Kaunda be deliberate. Did. ECO was Kaunda deliberate. Did. Yes, did exactly. Mm. It's exactly. a good example. Exactly. So, Kaunda deliberately yes. engaged on that. In that, yes, mm. exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Yes, here was deliberate also. Here and there, he could fuse in his maybe trans, trans, trans bit here and there, but mm. he was he used to make sure that he, PS there, we had DC, PSC, whatever. We could have this that we now we are calling the, the Zambezi region. Mm. Why are we calling them this now? Because of the, the degree mm. in which. This is the happening. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Tari. That's what Thank I you. wanted to, that, to add on. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Hello? Hello? Mr. Tari, how are you? I'm okay. How are you, sir? We pray and um, uh, believe you are safe wherever you are, sir. Now God is looking after me. I appreciate. Yes, sir. Um, sir, I've observed uh, there are a lot of uh, praise singers mm. who are calling you without any valid point. Mm. Most of these praise singers who are calling you, mm. the only allegiance they have is uh, somebody uh, who belongs to their ethnic grouping. Mm. They can't say anything solid. Our country is being sold while we are looking mm. and people are praising. Mm. The Mopane deal, mm. if you go read the documents and stuff, there is a lot of uh, uh, there is, there is what is, so my come back there is a big fish smelling somewhere there. Because mm. you can't find a company, people, be, a, 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 a big company being sold cheaply without even any money coming in, only on promissory notes. Mm. And you find that uh, people, uh, our Zambian people who are there, they are related to the powers that be. Mm. And uh, it's really sad that people are celebrating this Mopani deal, which is not even making sense. Mm. 
Economically, we don't know what that deal is going to offer to the people in the Copper Belt and Zambia at large. Mm. It's only one person or two who are going to benefit from that deal. Mm. And a lot of people are clapping. No, this, this, this is what, what is happening now is Zambia is being sold whilst we are looking. If they're going to, and they'll make sure everybody's going to talk is going to be cramped. Mm. Everybody, that's why they even want to introduce this bill of uh, uh, anyone to do a, a video, they need to get licenses. Mm. They don't want to be opposed. You know, uh, I, for one, have been telling people from uh, the current regime that there's no democracy in UPND. Mm. It has always been since the coming in of our current president and as the leader of UPND, democracy in UPND has not has never because they live in fear. Most mm. of the people in UPND live in fear. Now that is what has been brought to the country now. Mm. Everyone lives in fear. You know, some some of uh, I'm a member of uh, Zamak. You just say something on that group, <laughs> you'll find strange calls calling you. Is that magic? You understand? Mm. Calls calling you. you find that people, you write something, they'll get that. You know, there is a lot of fear and jitter. We have gone back into the shushushu kind of life. Mm. Where you say, you, 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 when you say something bad, you need to be looking on your shoulders, know who's listening, who's going to attack you, who's going but there are a lot of bad things happening a lot you go in these groups my ma, ma funding uh cdf whatever is happening you need to belong to a certain tribe for you to benefit now what kind of a country are we going to live in mm. uh, the police the other day the police uh, ig was busy saying no uh those people were employed during PF are going to be flushed out. Now what was going to, okay, how is this country going to be good? They, they, have, they have employed about 30,000 teachers. So it means that when the, the regime changes, then those people will, will go out of employment. <laughs> then this country is called, you know, this country is being ruled as, you know, because you are not safe. If a regime changes, even as mayor clean at a school, your employment is at stake. Who does that? Yeah. You know, this country, I'm telling you things, I'm telling you this country has gone, for the lack of a better term, it has gone to the dogs. Mm -hmm. the, there's nothing working. Yeah. Nothing. I was hearing the speech the president was giving. He keeps on boasting and stuff. You know the main reason is boasting? Mm. You know the main reason? Mm. Him is getting richer. Mm. You understand? Mm. Most of the policies, uh, most of the sales, is, as you wrote, is, uh, it's privatization reloaded. Mm. He's getting richer. Mm. These press singers who are talking, they don't even have food in their houses. Yeah. They keep on supporting just because somebody belongs to their region. How am I going to benefit? For instance, you come from the northern region. Just because you are president, I don't benefit anything. It's when I'll just support you because you come from my region. Uh, I don't think us from the north are like that. Mm. No. I admire, I admire their kind of uh, loyalty. I admire. Me, I can have you, Mr. Tayani from the north. If you're doing something rubbish, I'll tell you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. If you do something, you know, it's, you know, we need to support ideologies, not regionalism. Mm. This, is this idea benefiting me? Is this idea benefiting? Because me, I'm already living. What about my children? My children, children. You understand that conversation? Mm. Now, what is being done is, no, we are going to support this cause. Eh? Thank you, you, my brother. There's Thank nothing you. else. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Well, 
I think um, you know we have had um, a good run. Uh, thank you very much for for following the program. Thank you very much for those that have called in. And basically today, I was just bemoaning, you know, that our country is sliding into a banana republic, into autocracy, where only one person is uh, respected, is listened to. The desires of one person is what goes. The, uh, you know, the pillars of democracy are supposed to be embedded in the separation of powers, where other institutions of government offer checks and balances, especially on the executive. Unfortunately, all the three arms of government, including, you know, uh, the ECZ, are subservient to the president. You know, they, the, 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 the speakers, they want to impress the president. The Chief Justice wants to impress the President. The, uh, the ECZ, they are there to make sure that the rig elections to, uh, con to have Haka Inde Ichilema continue. That is why so many other things are happening, including the issues of uh, Mopani, which we'll talk about tomorrow. In terms of judiciary, I really wish Mumba Marila would inspire confidence in the, in the, in the, in the judges. So that at least before uh, an accused, especially those who are politically aligned, we can expect some justice. But now, when a politician like me is before the judge, I mean the judgment is predetermined, which is very, very sad. At parliament, look what is happening, you know, where they are almost fighting. And now they want to suspend that woman who has got immunity, who said the truth, to say the president is a liar and we all know that president haka in the is a liar nobody doesn't know it is a it is a common notorious fact president haka in the is a liar anyway i'll leave it here for tonight we will meet again tomorrow when we will talk about uh the mines thank you very much may god bless you may god bless zambia good night